What's up everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today we're gonna to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up the audio for a modified arcade one-up cabinet. So on this particular cabinet, we're gonna be running RetroPie through a Raspberry Pi 4, which we have mounted to the inner wall of our cabinet here. I do recommend putting in a power strip at the bottom of our cabinet. That way we can connect the power supply to our Raspberry Pi 4 here, as well as to our audio amp here, which we need to install in order to power the audio. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do with our audio amp is I put a Velcro strip on here and the other side of it is on the inside of the wall back here beside our Raspberry Pi 4. And the reason I do this rather than screwing it in, which you can do, there are some screw holes here. If you rather screw it into place, that's perfectly fine. I do the Velcro just because a lot of times you do have to adjust this depending on your wires and your different uh, layouts inside here. So that just makes it easier with this big strip. I can slide it up or down versus it being um, fixed to one designated area. Plus it's super hard to get a screw gun in here to to do this. So I just found this easier, but you certainly can do whatever you prefer. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn to the back side of our audio amp here, and you'll see that there's a power input up here, which says DC 12V. So that just means that it's a 12 volt power supply. So I have that right here. It's plugged into the bottom, into the power strip. So we are going to plug that in. Just make sure your power strip's powered off right now. We don't need anything powered on just yet. Next thing that we're going to do is you can see in the back here, we have two yellow wires that come down from our speaker that's built into the arcade one-up cabinet. We're going to take those and we're going to put them into the R side here for the terminals. So in order to do that, we're just going to push down on this tab here, which you can see opens up the port. Then you can slide that wire right in there. So we'll open up that tab, slide the wire in, let go of the tab, and you can see that it locks that into place. Same thing with the other wire. And just make sure that they're on the R side, not the L side. So both of those are locked in place. Now just make sure that you're not pulling on these cables because they're just soldered in there and Arcade 1UP really doesn't solder them in super well. So it's really easy to pull these out. I've done it a number of times myself. And then you have to go and take the um, control panel off and re-solder them on. It's just a real pain in the neck. So try not to pull on those. Next thing that we'll do is we'll take our 3.5 millimeter audio cable here. And we're gonna plug that into the MP3 input here, which is on the opposite end from the power supply. So you just plug that all the way in. Make sure you push firmly down so it fully connects. And now we can go mount this to the wall here. Again, just be super careful with those um, wires coming from the speaker because they're really easy to pull out. So you can see I have a little bit of slack on here, which is good. You don't have to have a huge amount of slack, but just make sure that you're not pulling on them. So the next thing that we need to do is plug the other end of our 3.5 millimeter audio cable into our Raspberry Pi 4 directly. So you can see that there is a 3.5 millimeter jack here um, right below the HDMI ports. So we will plug this all the way in. And the first time plugging it in, it could give you a little resistance. So you just have to make sure that it's firmly connected in there. And the reason that we plug that into the Raspberry Pi 4 is it's just gonna give you a lot better quality of sound when you power this on. And the other thing is, is you don't have to go and alter all of your audio settings on RetroPie. If you were to plug into your uh, board up here, you could go through one of these ports up here, but then you have to go in and a lot of people have trouble with this because you have to change all your audio settings and change it from pulling from the HDMI. And I found that it does give you a little bit more static and the, the sound just isn't as sharp and clear. So I like to go direct from the Raspberry Pi 4. So now that we've plugged in our audio jack here, I'll power on our Arcade 1UP cabinet and we can see exactly how the audio works. All right, so we've just powered this on, so we're just gonna go to our main menu and see if it sounds working. So we can see on our gameplay previews and our menu here that everything's working perfectly. I'm just gonna jump into the audio settings here just so you can see exactly what we have set. So if we go to main menu, jump down to sound settings and select A, you can see for audio device here, we are on HDMI. We're also on HDMI for the OMX player audio device. Our system volume is gonna be set to 0%. That really has nothing to do with this since we're gonna be powering everything from the audio amp in the back. You can change our volume levels there. So I'm also gonna go back here and we'll jump into the RetroPie settings here, just so we can go in and verify that our audio settings in here are as they should be. 
So here our audio output is set to HDMI, which is what we want in this case. So now it is super common to have some audio issues when you first set these up. So if you plug this in and you turn it on and it's not getting audio through right away, don't panic. As long as your settings show exactly what we jumped into and showed right here where everything's set to HDMI, you are good to go. You might just have to um, repower this on and off a couple times or switch your HDMI cable to a different port. This actually happens even when you're just plugging your Raspberry Pi into a TV for the first time. It does kind of struggle to um, send and receive the audio signals at first. This is just an issue with Raspberry Pis in general. But once you make that connection, you're good to go and you can power this thing on and off, you know, a hundred times and you're always going to connect. It's just that first time that you're connecting where it does struggle to send and receive signals a little bit. But like I said, it will sort itself out pretty quickly. You might just have to power this on and off a few times. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do a whole bunch of different tutorials and gameplay demos, as well as product reviews. And of course, check us out on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.